What's going on guys, JTM Off Road here. Today's video, trying to diagnose a whine coming from my truck. Lately my truck's been having like a little bit of a whine and after I started up and leave work there's one big turn that i take right away and it's a right turn and whenever i make it there is a very noticeable increasingly loud whine and then from there on out it just has this whine thinking to myself you know i'm thinking whine i'm thinking something's wrong with the transmission i don't know what you know but it, it's coming from the front so it seems like it's something in the engine compartment so I started looking things up and some people are saying you can get a whine whenever your power steering fluid is low. So I went out and checked my power steering fluid and it does seem low. It's, it's kind of hard to tell. If I look down the reservoir, steering fluid seems pretty low. You know, it doesn't have any problems steering. It's just, you know, it just makes whines, you know, with acceleration, with deceleration. I don't know. I'm not good at diagnosing this stuff. Um, but I thought I'd try it out, see, you know, if we drive around, um, hopefully I can recreate the sound for you, let you listen to it, and come back, put some power steering fluid in it, hopefully get it to the right level, and then drive it again, and see if it goes away. So, let's go try it out. Alright, so we're here under the hood, and we are outside, sorry if it's a little windy, but we're going to check power steering fluid here, and see, you know, how low it actually is. I already wiped this off, but it's not very shiny at all. So I'm gonna assume that it's probably pretty low. Not sure how well you can see down there, but the reservoir does look pretty low. So we're gonna go ahead and drive around and try to produce a sound, come back at the fluid and see what it sounds like. I don't know how well this is gonna work. If it's gonna make it or not. Seems like it warms up, it gets a little better. Make a turn right now, see if it makes it. You can faintly hear it, it was like a It's still pretty faint. I hear it mainly in the driver left area of the engine compartment. It's still just pretty faint. I don't know if it's just, you know, I, I drove it a few hours ago. It might just be that it's warmed up. I don't know if, if that's helped any or what exactly. Like I said, you can faintly hear it. It's, it seems much worse when it's colder. Still just faint. You guys might just have to take my word for it. It's it's loud when it's cold. But just imagine a that's exactly exactly what it was. So pretty much I didn't even need to come on this trip. I could have just made that sound for you and you would have figured it right out. Anyway, we're going to go back and put some power steering fluid in it and see if that helps because it just seems too low for this. All right, back to the house in the cold, rainy, snowy, wintry, awesome mix. Check this out. And it's a little wet, probably just from some of the residual stuff slosh around there. It smells like batteries. Check it again, and it just seems dry. It's really hard, guys, to show you, but it just seems dry. It's not wet at all, seeming. So, 
The rough thing is I don't know exactly how much I need to put in. So, I mean, we're just gonna have to put a we're just gonna have to put a little in at a time and just keep going until I finally get some on there. All right. See where that got us. Yeah, we got there, getting there. Just a little more, and I think we'll be all right. So that's just at the add mark, and we just need to go up here. Let's try it out. That brought us up there. I don't know guys, I, I hope this does it. I'm kind of skeptical. I mean, I didn't really add a whole lot of fluid to it. It was, was kind of low, it seemed to me. Um, but I really didn't add all that much. So I don't, I don't know. But let's go take it for a drive and find out. All right, let's take a turn. Still seems a little whiny. Alright, here we go. Taking a turn. I don't know. I don't feel like I noticed that much of a whine. I think the true test is gonna be, see what this is like overnight. When it's cold in the morning, because that seems to be when it actually makes the most noise. All right, first thing in the morning. Don't even have any coffee yet. Let's try to see how these turns do. Seem too bad. Of course, it's snowy out, so losing traction, which is nice. Here we go for another turn. Nothing. Of course, I have been, I did have my truck idle for a while this morning since it was cold. So, turn. Doesn't seem bad. Alrighty, just got off work. Got the truck, started up. It's pretty cold out. The truck says 29 right now. Plenty of time for it to cool off. So, go ahead and see if. Uh, if we make this big turn up here, if it actually makes that sound still. Hopefully not, hopefully it's fixed. But none of my look, it's probably not. Alrighty, here's the turn. Well, it didn't seem to make it that time. Normally that's when it happens. So that's good. Still have like a little bit of a wine, but it's not not near what it used to be. So it's now like two months later. It was it was like November 22nd or 23rd when I first started filming the issue, and now it's January 22nd. Looking back as I was editing the, the footage, I, I could hear the wine a little more, but right now there's no wine. So wine went away. It I don't know if you know just 
over time eventually helped and got rid of that. But it's definitely not not near as bad as it was when it first happened, when it was a really loud one. And it's super cold out now. It's like like single digits and, and less than that now. So I'm glad that's all done. Um, you know, I have to fix those lines eventually. They're like a very slow leak, so that's probably you know where it's happening. And it's probably be a good idea to even just change out that power steering pump. And I've also been when this whole issue started, I started reading a lot more and watching more videos about power steering systems. And the one thing they said was anytime you change anything in a power steering system, you need to change the fluid. So I've also heard of people changing power steering fluid to synthetic and it works better and helps, you know, not have that same line, um, especially for this generation of avalanches. I don't know if that's, that's exactly true, but anybody that has this kind of problem, go ahead and drop down in the comments what, what you've done. If you've went to synthetic or if you, you know, changed the pump, went, you know, from having problems to no problems, you know, what you did. But for me, what I ended up having to do was just pretty much top off power steering fluid and sound went away. And I'm glad that's all it was because I was very concerned that there was something bad like transmission issue or, you know, something worse. So I'm glad that's all it ended up being. So guys, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Go down to the description, click the link for t-shirt sales, buy yourself a t-shirt, help out the channel, help out everything we're doing here. And I'd say that's about it for this video, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.